Welcome to my blog. Um, it was a real busy weekend for me. I turned 45, as you know, last Monday, so I had my birthday party this weekend. Um, and that's why I didn't do anything on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we had dinner planned, so I didn't do anything there. But there's certainly been a lot happening. Um, so let's talk about the first thing, stupid politicians. Um, Elliot Spitzer, who made his name as this great crusader for, you know, against big business, and he was going to be virtuous, he's going to do everything, um, called a very expensive hooker on the phone. Um, feds apparently had a wiretap, knew it was him, um, and now there's all sort of scandals breaking in New York. Um, I personally think Elliot Spitzer ought to go. I mean, not because he had an affair, not because he called a prostitute, but because he's stupid. How stupid does somebody have to be to, you know, have an affair with their wife and when you're like this moralist? I mean, it's just retarded. Uh, it goes to show that Republicans are not the only stupid creatures out there. And, you know, his, his thing is, oh, it's a private affair, it's whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's private. You're a public figure. You did something immensely stupid, and you got caught. Um, you know, keep, keep your dick in your pants for, you know, eight years. You can do it. I mean, you want all these people, well, I can't say it's about Spitzer, Spitzer's pro gay. There's all these, you know, incredibly dumb people out there that are anti gay and can't keep their dicks in their pants. Um, just please. Um, okay, enough about Spitzer. Let's get on to Obama and Clinton. Um, there's a great article that uh, talks about uh, Obama's big problem. And Obama's big problem is that even though he has a hundred or so more delegates, give or take, maybe here and there, depending upon how you count, he doesn't have any in the big states. You know, the Democrats aren't going to win Idaho. The Democrats aren't going to win Utah. Great, you won there, fantastic. Um, you know, you need Ohio, you need Pennsylvania, you need New York, you need California. You know, those places that Clinton has won. Um, the Electoral College is not proportional, like the Democratic delegate selection process is. Um, it is winner take all. So if Obama, you know, he can't win at these big states. Clinton has beat him in every one. Why? Because she's more appealing in a number of ways. She's got more experience. And, you know, he's winning in this caucus system where his fervent cult of personality is working. But when, you, when push comes to shove and you look at who do you want to be commander in chief? Uh, the guy in the, the, the skinny guy with the Michael Dukakis tank problem or Hillary Clinton, uh, the bitch. Um, you know, so now the Democrats are just going to keep fighting each other. Um, today, Obama was in Mississippi. Gee, do you think Obama's going to win Mississippi? Do you think the Democrats have a chance of taking Mississippi in the fall? Well, actually, they do have a chance of taking Mississippi. But... You know, I hate to tell you this, um, well, anyway, Mississippi, Obama's down there, and he talks about the vice president. Now, if you look at what the news media is saying, the news media is saying Obama turns down vice president. He didn't turn it down. He said, why would somebody who's in first place, and it's very questionable about whether or not he is in first place, and certainly he wants to present the image that he's in first place, uh, but then he's all about image and not very much about substance. And, um, you know, he, he, why would somebody who's in first place talk about taking the vice presidency? Maybe because at some point the Democratic Party is going to have to be united if we're going to take the White House in the fall. And beating up on each other ain't going to do that. So, you know, he didn't say he wasn't going to do it. He's just saying he's going to fight on. Well... Um, Pennsylvania is going to be interesting. Article about uh, Hillary Clinton's roots to the Northeast, which is one of the Democratic strongholds, one of the places where she can pick up votes. Um, they're saying that Obama is probably going to win in uh, Philadelphia. Um, I suspect Clinton's going to win in Pittsburgh. Um, so you've got you know weird dynamics in that state. I think that it's Clinton's to lose at this point. Um, and then Obama has what? He still doesn't have, look at where he's won, he doesn't have the electoral votes to be president.
So he might be ahead in the delegates, but he's not ahead in this race at all. And that's something the superdelegates are going to have to consider, and the superdelegates are certainly going to be looking at those issues. Um, there's also, with an article in yesterday's New York Times about Obama and how he had star, has star power in the Senate, but very little accomplishments, very little that he's able to achieve, and how he didn't even you know, begin to oppose the war until polls showed that opposing the war was a popular thing to do. Uh, that, you know, he's for change. He's a different kind of candidate. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so I've probably babbled enough. Uh, we'll see what happens with stupid politicians and the electorate tomorrow. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.